All right, so here is one downside to this Emporia uh, EVSC. It charges our Rivian grade, right, at a full speed, but it does this when I'm trying to charge my DIY car. So whatever reason, that thing is not giving it the, the right signal. Let me turn this off. So, uh, and this, I mean, I've pretty much been able to charge on everything. Every um, charging station that I've put on in here pretty much has worked, except now for this one. So there's something weird here. Right, so I've now connected the Tesla uh, with the adapter, right? J1772 to Tesla, and it seems like it's charging. Yep, it's got the little green thing charging there. If you look in the car. Two hours and 20 minutes charging time. All right, so here we go. Uh, it's the morning and we've charged this guy because we have a trip today. And let's go check out if it's fully charged already. Oh, perfect example, see? So 283 miles, it's charging 11 kilowatt. It ends in one hour and 33 minutes. So it wasn't able to fully charge. And this is a perfect example why uh, we needed to have that super fast charger in your garage last night this thing was at like 30 percent state of charge and um and then we plugged it in before we went to bed and we're like well hopefully it's fully charged you know with the tesla we never had that like within four hours five hours it would have been fine it would have been fully charged and then you're ready to go but this one because the battery's so big right you, you need like eight hours nine hours uh maybe 10 hours sometimes right depending how depleted if you have a completely depleted battery just because you forgot to charge it or you just run around town and you don't charge every day then uh yeah it's going to be 10 plus hours to charge so that's why you need that charger you need to have the ability to charge at full speeds, right? At 11 kilowatt hours, just so that you can have a fully charged truck in the morning so you can do everything you need to do without having a fast charge on the road. Um, you know, yeah, if we're within, if that's possible, right? Uh, but in this case, by the way, and a lot of people are saying like, no, you shouldn't, you should charge slower and you can. It's just if, like what I'm saying is you need to have the ability to charge at full at 48 amps. You don't have to charge at 48 amps. You can set it to charge slower, right? If you're charging every day, you're plugging it every day, you don't have to put it at 48. It doesn't damage the battery any, you know. That's that's really slow compared to fast charging. The fast charging is the stuff that might degrade the battery quicker, right? So... You can charge it really slow, you can set the speed, but you need to at least have the Rivian charging station, EVSC, right? That can do the 11 and a half kilowatt or this aftermarket station or whatever uh, EVSC that I got that charges at 11 kilowatt hours. All right, we're about to do 2022.15.0 update. Here we go. So, I mean, update now. It says it's gonna take about 75 minutes, which is a long time. Vehicle must be parked, stored, which access, locking, and security features might be interrupted during install. So the car basically is not gonna work during the install. Uh, so you gotta prepare for that. Update now. Now it gives you two minutes. Now it's charging and it's fairly low. 15% uh, I think charge? Yeah, 19%, 60 miles. Um, I don't know if it's gonna like that or not. Let's just start it. Let's jump into it. Oh, and then it just goes dark. And I think that's it. It's gonna be dark. I guess I'll have to now wait until it's installed and it reboots and come back. 
All right, so now it has finished. And here are the versions that, like the, here's what we got with the new update details. New garage door opener, control garage door opener with the, the button here. New exterior light settings. You can now control certain external light bar. And then new automatic high beams. Ooh, look at that. Okay, so this, then connect, then garages, add a garage. Before you get started, have your garage door remote in hand, park in near your garage, but not under the door. Depending on your garage door opener, you may also need access to the installed hardware unit in your garage, a partner to help. Uh, we'll just put this as home. Next. Let's get started pairing your garage door remote with your vehicle. Press and hold the button on your remote while continuing to hold the button tap pair. All right, so now I have paired it. Remote signal received. You can release the button now. Okay, got it. Next, your garage door opener will need to receive several signals from your vehicle. You'll need to complete this step quickly, so it might be helpful to have a partner. Got it. Press or press and hold the learn button on your garage door opener when the LED light turns on. Your 30 seconds will start then tap and send signal button below you'll need to do this three times your garage door opener can save it i just pressed that and it's blinking so now i have 30 seconds to click on the thing okay Okay, here we go. Oh, done. All right, look at that. It's making the, the garage door open now. Okay, so I'm done now. So how do you get okay so there it is okay so it's right here on the very top so let's say you're going home boom there we go it works all right so the next thing is the exterior lights interactive lighting so if we turn it on oh look at that light bars react when you lock or unlock this is a feature that was very annoying because it would interact with the car like at night when we would get up to go to the restroom for example and the restroom is in the front of the house so it's just close to the to the car so then in the middle of the night at three in the morning if we went to the restroom then you know the lights will shine up and they're really bright and you could see them on the window and it would make the whole noise and stuff and so eventually you you just have to like turn them off because it was getting too annoying right so here is now you can turn it on lights bar light bars when charging right uh light bars will pulse green when charging stay green at full charge and turn off when park there we go entry lights compasses light the ground when you open doors guide lights lights to help you find your way at night 30 seconds two minute charge port light when locked so now charge port light when locked on or off what does that mean okay okay so it's just a tiny bit more so you can turn on and off to ground when you open the doors well it's still kind of the same thing let's see that it's a bit more controlled
Okay, so obviously these cars are electric and that's the charging port. See, there's another one over there. So those pads. So it's charging right now. And then once the thing goes on, then it'll discharge. Like it has all these tire marks. Well, yeah, because they are tires. They're riding on tires. See them? They're those little ones. 